on the launch of the new generation Nissan Navara. And the biggest thing to say to you is the fact that it's proudly produced and built in South Africa right now. You just look at the wheels over here. These very interesting two-tone mag wheels just while I'm here. But it's the face of the vehicle that's changed more than anything. Look at this bold front end you've got over here now. It really is bold. It really is big. And those signature, look at those four LED headlights. Another really interesting feature over here. But it's bold. You can see the angle over here for the approach and departure angles. It gives you really, really good off-road ability. You'll see a bit of off-roading in this video just now. We've been up the mountain over here. This one I'm showing you behind me. We've been up here, up into the mountains overlooking Hartebeerspoort, and that's where we are now. And we're down at a dam at the moment over here. But you can see the whole vehicle has grown up. It's got bigger. But the other very, very big change is the rear suspension. It's now five leaf rear suspension, and that has made such a difference to ride quality. It's amazing how comfortable it is, how smooth it is over all terrain. It's really caught up, I think, with the opposition and really does make a difference to what you're doing when you are, whether it's 4 by 4 which we've done. Hill descent control works unbelievably well. We've come down a rocky mountain trail with no effort whatsoever. This is the LE model, which is the middle of the range let me put it that way and you're looking at about 650,000 rand with seven speed automatic gearbox powered by 2.5 liter four cylinder diesel engine we had 140 kilowatts and 430 newton meters of torque the other really nice thing is i'm going to open the door and we'll have a look at the driver's seat over here you can see the quilted leather seats really good quality it looks really really nice Slightly smaller steering wheel, but it works well. That seven-speed automatic transmission. Of course, you've got your infotainment screen. You've got everything you could possibly want in a luxury vehicle, including even electric adjustment for the driver's seat over there. So it's got all of those features. Nice space in the back. It's full of equipment at the moment in the back, but I'll show you over here. And you'll see over here, good space in the back seat as well. Nice leg room. The driver's seat, remember, set for myself, but giving you enough room for family use and even a USB in the back over there. Well done. That's a good family use point as well that you do have that USB. Always, always so important. You look at the load buck, the sides are higher than before and the double cabs are rated for a full ton. In fact, just over a ton to go on the back of them. Again, a good feature that does slightly, slightly beat the competition. Overall, so far, I can tell you that the driving has been quite something else. And I think this one, the Navara, certainly new generation, has caught up with the opposition and is going to give some of the others a good run for their money. They know who they are and they know who they're going to be competing with. It's really, it may be full of dust right now, but it's a very, very big, brutish and handsome vehicle as well. And I think that makes a difference. You can see we're at a little dam in a quarry right now. And the group are around here. We've just stopped for a few minutes because of current conditions. The launch, let me tell you, very, very limited. We're only four vehicles. One driving through the Glen Afrique game park, just on a game drive and uh, experiencing not even on the gimbal right now. And you can see that uh, this new Navara is really smooth, it's comfortable. I haven't seen the Raptors yet or the big five or anything but a couple of zebra there's a blessed book for you over there you can see it a couple of zebra so far but just really what a special way to spend time and i can tell you that on dirt so far this thing is really really pretty smooth pretty comfortable all right well glenn Africa and there's the school over here and you can see some people i think should go back to school for a bit of artwork and how to paint as well some of my colleagues, but <laughs> part of the whole project is we're doing painting this bookshelf for the school as yes. a little gift. Yes, yeah. You'll see my initials down there on the really bad bit of red paintwork, but I don't think that's the point. The point is what we're doing. And here's Mercedes over here, one of the star pupils at the school. Check his artwork on the side over here. I mean, oh, he's not just really... painting, he's putting an artwork on the side of it. No, which of I course. Think actually makes a nice difference. 100%. 100%. Good initiativeness and thanks. Great stuff. Thanks very much.
We're now up on the top of the hill on the 4x4 trail. We've come up this hill. You can see there's actually a Boer Wolf fort over here. The vehicles are all, I mean, they've handled them like you can't believe. They've been stunning. They've just taken it in their stride. The Pro 4X is our lead vehicle over here. Only spec. They all got exactly the same. Otherwise, that 2.5 liter four cylinder diesel, 140 kilowatts, 430 newton meters of torque on them. And let me tell you, low range, they've handled everything. They just do it all. The hill descent control works brilliantly as well. Takes you down steep little bits, holds its speed at about 4 k's an hour. So they are certainly doing the job. Okay, so this is what is called the view from the top. We're at the top of this fort right now, looking over Hartebeersport Dam that way, and through round the valley, you can just see, and this was a Boer War fort, where, believe me, the Boer could see when the English were coming. Don't know what they did when they were coming, but they could see them. But uh, we've got our own Boer over here next to me, Shaw. No, you, I wanted you in camera. No, no, I don't want to. <laughs> But it's a view second to none. And the new Navarra's brought us all the way up here. That's the point. Because you can see we're up this hill. All right. Uh, this is our male leopard. This is Jagger. He's yeah. only two. Only so, two. Yeah, he's only two. He's yeah. growing pretty damn nicely. Okay, and... Uh, Morning. Morning. Bred him, bred him in captivity or...? He was born in captivity. Okay. Yes. And then we took him. Yeah. And then here comes our female in the back there. There she comes. So she works with them on a daily basis. That's oh, wow. why the animals will follow her. Oh, follow her. Mm.